to watch the full lecture of all subjects kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon because whenever i post the new videos you will get the immediate notifications hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this particular video we will solve one more problem regarding to the borrowing costs the question is on the screen let us try to analyze the question first on 1 4 2017, Z company borrowed a loan of 6 lakh rupees at 10% interest. So, the loan has been taken, okay? That is 6 lakh rupees loan at 10% interest. So, the loan was taken on 1 4 2017, okay? To construct a building, so this loan was taken to construct a qualifying asset. So the qualifying asset construction was started on 1st of May and concluded, okay, it was concluded, means the construction was over on 31st January. So how many months start counting from May? May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. So total 9 months nine months okay next the total construction cost so the cost of this particular qualifying asset came to rupees 25 lakhs so total to cost one particular asset 25 lakhs was the cost the above loan so this particular loan was repaid on 28 february so it was taken on 1st april 2017 and repaid on 28 february so, how many months? April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. So, the loan was taken only for 12 months. Sorry, 11 months. In my previous problem, first problem, the loan, when it was repaid, they had not mentioned. But here, they have clearly mentioned. So, the loan was repaid only within 12, 11 months. Calculate the interest capitalized and PP value in the balance sheet. Okay, so first one is calculation of interest. Calculation of interest. So what was the loan amount obtained? It was 6 lakh rupees. So 6 lakh rupees into what is the rate of interest? Rate of interest is 10% but the loan is not taken for complete 12 months. Loan na 100 thingle galik taondi la. Kevala 100 thingle galik maath taondi dare. Hagagi we make it 11 divided by 12. So 6 lakh into 10% into 11 divided by 12. 6 lakh into 10% into 11 divided by 12 will be 55,000. 55,000 is the interest amount. But complete interest amount will not be capitalized. Out of this 55,000, some portion will be capitalized. So, 55,000 ali first be borrowing cost ashtu now capitalize maadho dilla. Solpa portion matha capitalize maadho dilla. Adi yava portion andre yelli ke Alli tanka asset construction agitala, our date vargo matra yen interest bandirate, adan matra capitalize mado do. Up to the date of completion of construction only, the interest will be capitalized. So, total it was 9 months. So, 55,000 into 9 divided by it will be not 12, it will be 11 because the loan was obtained only for 11 months. So, divided by 11. So, 55,000 into 9 divided by 11 will be 45,000. So, this 45,000 will be added to the value of PPE. Remaining, so 55,000 minus 45,000 will be 10,000. This particular 10,000 will be transferred to PNL account statement of profit or loss account. Now we need to find the next step is to find the reporting value of the asset. 
reporting value of the asset next step bandu reporting value of the asset na find out madadu so the formula to find that is construction cost plus borrowing cost capitalized ideradunu add madidre we get reporting value if we add both of this we will get reporting value so now what is the construction cost construction cost was 25 lakh construction cost was 25 lakh how much is a bc capitalized bc capitalized is 45000 so 25 lakh plus 45000 will be 25 lakh 45000 and this is the reporting value of the asset hope you have understood how to solve this type of problem if you have understood very good if you have any doubt while solving the problem please put all your doubts and queries in the comment box so that i can respond to your doubts and queries as soon as possible thank you for watching the video i'll come back with the next video if you have any queries regarding today's session kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast@gmail.com